Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be testing out three free game boosters you guys can download. They work in tons of games just like Fortnite and we're going to see how that compares to our FPS and what kind of max FPS we can gain from just these softwares alone. Now before we dive into this one, I do want to give a quick shout out to NoPing. NoPing is a network optimizing software that can dramatically lower down your ping. Now guys, I have huge news with NoPing. Not only can it really reduce your ping, which is fantastic, you can also go up here to this gear and you can turn on boost FPS with this button here. So this is automatically going to boost your FPS in Fortnite, which is amazing. So basically guys, it's a free two in one. You get boosted FPS and you also get a way faster connection to the Fortnite servers. If you guys are interested in this, there's a free download link in the description. You get 10 days on a free trial, which is super awesome to test it out and make sure it works for you. And if you end up loving it after the free trial 10 days, then you can subscribe to it at that point. And it's like six bucks a month. So it's definitely a steal. Go ahead and check it out in the description below. All right, guys. And before we jump into the comparison, there's one thing I want to get across real quick, and that's that all three of these FPS boosters are not affiliated at all with the channel, meaning I'm just reviewing them solely just from the customer perspective. I haven't talked to these companies and I don't make any money from them. The other thing I wanted to mention, just due to the nature of these, definitely download them at your own risk. What they do is they accelerate the hardware in your computer, specifically your CPU and your graphics card. And this can cause your PC on occasion to crash or to freeze. And if it does that, definitely uninstall them. No harm, no foul. At least you tried them out. But definitely download them at your own risk. By the way, guys, you don't want to run all three at once because otherwise this is what will happen to your computer. All right guys, so what you'll see on the screen here, these are the three FPS boosters for today. We have Gamefire, we have Smart Game Booster, we have Razer Cortex. There'll actually be a link in the description for every one of them if you wanna download them and try them out if one seems enticing to you. Um, but we're gonna test them out individually and see which one boosts your FPS the most. First off though, just to mention real quick, we're gonna keep the settings the same obviously, otherwise it's not a fair comparison. I have Medium for everything and unlimited FPS. I get, I get a lot of critiques about windowed full screen, but honestly, it just works best for me. Feel free to use full screen if you want the most optimal, highest FPS possible. All right, guys, as you can see, just starting off here at the very top right, we're getting somewhere between 70, oh, well, actually, yeah, about 70 to 120. It's being pretty consistent around that base. Ooh, I got a 37 there. But as you can see, it's pretty consistent. Um, the low does drop to around 70, goes up to about 120, and it's basically very, very stable at that rate here in the pregame lobby. And loaded up into my 1v1 map, as you can see, it's basically the same, man. It's a little bit higher. We're getting like 90 to 130 from what it shows here. So again, I mean, pretty consistent, even shooting up there to 200. Wow. But as you can see, it's pretty much consistent. I do see it is dropping to 80 on occasion to 130. All right, guys, game fire is up first. We're just going to activate that. It's pretty easy to set up. There's not very many settings at all in game fire. You might get a Windows Defender notice. Just click continue. It's automatically going to detect other downloaded games on your computer. If you don't see it showing up in there, you can type it in. If you still don't see it, you can scan for games. And if you still don't see it there, then just turn on game mode and uh, and don't worry about it. But yeah, as you can see, it has all these other applications that it wants you to kill. Um, if you don't want to kill any of your uh, applications, just click OK. And it'll activate game mode. That's what it's doing right now. All right, it says we successfully activated the game mode. It even has a little report here. You'll know it's also running when you go down here to the bottom right and you see Gamefire active and open. All right, guys, we are loaded up in the pregame lobby of Creative, and as you can see, we got 110, and about 90 to 120 FPS. So as you can see, it's actually a lot more consistent. It's a lot smaller margin from low to high um, FPS, which is, which is a really good thing. You don't want your FPS to be moving around a whole lot, I am consistently a lot higher on my lower ping, even getting up to over 100 on occasion. Um, but as you can see, it's around 80, 90, 110. All right, and now we are loaded up into a creative map. And um, as you can see, I mean, it's about like 90, 110 for the low. 
the high is shooting up sometimes to about 200. I would say overall it's giving you about a 10, 15, 20% FPS boost, uh, especially on the lows. The lows are a much higher FPS gain. And when you're not building, of course, that means your FPS is going to shoot up way more. As you can see, we're getting 160 to 200 when we're not moving, not building, doing nothing. All right, that thing was fun, guys. We're going to deactivate Game Fire, and now we're going to test out our second one, which is the Smart Game Booster. This one has actually been the best, uh, from what I recall. I think we're going to get the best FPS boost with this one. I also really think that the boost button is very satisfying. Like, it looks really cool, in my opinion. Um, and all these are free, which blows my mind. I mean, you don't have to pay anything for this. You can even select the game to automatically launch the game and to boost your uh, your computer. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna click on Fortnite and we're gonna click boost. It's gonna automatically launch the game and it's gonna automatically give us a boost to our FPS. As you saw there for a brief moment, it gave us like a 25% boost. It's really cool. It's working for CPU, RAM, GPU, and even drivers. It's updating drivers. So it's doing a hell of a lot for you in the background. Obviously you have the restore button. If you ever needed to revert those changes, you can click restore. All right, guys, we are loaded up in creative. As you can see, we're getting about 90 to about 120, 130. We're even dipping down to 80 to 120 as well. This is with the FPS boost. So I don't believe it's actually helping too much. Maybe it'll really surprise me if we go into a creative map. Awesome. All right, we are in a creative map. And as you can see, we're getting a low of about 80 and the max of about 150. This one actually doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, to be honest. I'm a little disappointed with it. I was expecting a way bigger improvement. Um, last time I used it, it actually helped a lot more. Maybe something changed in season six where now um, it doesn't matter so much. But yeah, I mean, we're getting lows of about 80 in here. All right, and just to test it out, standing completely still, we're still getting a low of 80 on occasion but we're getting up to 210 for the max FPS. This gives you kind of a crazy range of FPS in my opinion. So I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think that's very good. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, we got Razer Cortex. I think at one point it actually crashed my PC. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen again. Um, as you can see, you get a library here as well, which is super great. And you get the option to boost. You can turn on boost now up here in the top right. It tells you everything it's going to do. It's going to clean RAM, clear clipboard, enable power game solutions, uh, turn off auto updates and disable CPU sleep, enable core uh, CPU core, which maximizes your CPU. So a bunch of awesome things here. Let's see how much it actually benefits us and boosts the FPS in Fortnite. So boost now, RAM released. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's actually showing that it's releasing RAM. So maybe that'll make a big difference here. Let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so, so far so good. We haven't crashed or anything crazy like that. Um, taking a look at the FPS in the top right, we are seeing it drop down to 70 on occasion, but staying pretty typical up to the 80 to 90 for the low. Um, the high is around 120. So that is pretty good. It's again, a smaller margin of FPS. Um, originally we were getting like 70 to 120 but it's not dropping down to 70 that often. So that's always a hopeful sign that this is gonna make a huge difference. All right, so loaded up in the map, we're getting a low of about 90, 100. And uh, the high is shooting up there, man. I see it's going up to about 200, even building for the high, which is uh, it's awesome. All right, and sitting still, we're getting like a low of 100, 110, and a high of 200 getting up to 200 FPS on the Razer Cortex, uh, not in doing anything, which is um, really good. So the max FPS is definitely having a huge benefit with the Razer Cortex. If you're using performance mode, you can take whatever FPS boost you're getting in medium settings and you can like quadruple it. Um, just to give a quick ranking, I think Razer Cortex is gonna take the cake at its best. Um, Game Fire, I would have to say is second and then the smart game booster comes in at third. But all of them are free, all of them are amazing. I don't think any of them are really bad. Um, yeah, guys, you guys will have to test them out. Let me know if you get an even bigger increase in FPS or maybe you get a worse um, you know, FPS gain. So uh, as always, guys, it's been your boy Cameron. I hope this video at least gave you some good insight. 
I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out for now.